Well, I thought I would be able to back right up here and put the chain underneath this, this log, but man, a lot of you can't get your hand underneath of there. And I'm just going to get the blade, pick this up, put that over it where I can get the chain around it, and drag it out of here. This is an 11 millimeter socket. 7 sixteenths will also work on this. The way I set this thing up, I already have my holes drilled. So I just set that in there. And I don't put it in here like this. So what I do is I, is I line this up over here like this. Put the other one over here. Now, the next thing I do is I always like to use a lock washer when I'm putting these back on. Then get my nut and put it on there. Then I just hold that nut in there until it starts catching threads. So that side started. You can kind of see what I'm doing here. Let's barely get that. Oh, it's barely hanging on. <laughs> Do the same thing with the nut. See how this one has started. So you just get that in there. I have completed the uh, tightening up of this. So I've got the blade all sharpened and I'm ready to go cut a poplar tree. Well, I've went ahead and put my two by six on the poplar tree. Got my cutting guide on there. Got the board leveled up as about as good as I can and what I like to do is put a couple of stabilizer screws on the end that does a lot put a screw in the middle and one towards the end you may say well what in the world you got going on here well you can see this log here has a sort of a bend to it there that's plenty long for what I'm working on and we'll saw it off after we're done and then we'll turn it over but today i just want to show you how to make a board out of a poplar tree so here we go yeah i know i've got two different kinds of camouflage on but it is what it is <laughs>
So here we go. I've got uh, I've got this cut down past eight feet, and uh, I'm going to take my rail off and go ahead and come back around and cut that. see I was moving around there always be cognizant of where your toes are and try to wear steel toes if you can so all I need to do now is move my 2x6 over and run my chainsaw down there ever how thick I want it make me a board Thanks for watching and subscribing.